Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another Halloween video I am bringing this October. It looks really weird trying to like speak without like actual lips, instead I just have weird neon teeth. I was really inspired to do this look by James Charles and Joe Younger, I will leave them both down below. But pretty much I just wanted to play with colour and skulls to do like a weird demonic skull neon Barbie commander for Halloween. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video, if you do. Give it a thumbs up, comment down below any other looks you want to see from me, and subscribe to a bitch. Hopefully, if I can get my ass in gear, there'll be a new video every single day this month, so yeah. Really hope you guys enjoy this transformation, and thanks for watching. So I'm starting this look off with a freshly cleansed and moisturised face, and then to add a little bit more hydration, I went in with the Mario Badescu facial spray, and honestly, this is just so soothing and like... <sighs> to apply like it is incredible. I drank a lot of energy drink since I knew I was going to be doing this look for quite a while. To prime my skin I went in with the Ordinary High Adherence Primer. It was my first time using it, didn't notice too much of a difference but um yeah it's okay I guess. And then went in with one of my all-time holy grail favourite ever foundations, the Too Faced Born This Way. And I just wanted like a nice fullish coverage without being as heavy as my general drag beat. So then use my collection concealer to highlight and then use the LA Pro concealer to contour my skin. Just because I wanted some definition and so the upper half of my face didn't look too flat overall. And then once I was happy with how everything was blended out, I set using my Coty Loose Air Spun Powder, pretty much my all-time favourite ever powder, and it just seals everything gorgeously in place for the entire night. To fill in my brows, I went in with my Freedom Pro Brow Kit, and then to do the eyes, I went in with the Morphe 35B palette, and then I'm going to go quite quick and speed like through the eyes, since obviously the focus is more on the neon skull kind of effect, but I do the general kind of same technique that I do every single time, so a really like kind of softer, or in this case, a really bright neon shade, winged out heavily, and then deepen it as I get closer to my lash line, carve out my eyelid either using like a white base or my Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer, and then just blending over the edges to make it look a little bit more smoky and sensual, with adding a little bit of black closest to the lash line and the outer V, just to add that smoky, sultry drama to the look. And don't worry, there is going to be a lot more eye-focused and like drag-based kind of looks coming soon, so um, yeah, don't worry about that girl, I'll have you covered in the coming days. So to highlight, I went in with Monster from Colourpop, and then to contour, I used my Makeup Revolution Highlight and Contour Palette, and just kind of did my general highlight and contour, and then used this gorgeous purpley toned blush from Makeup Geek, and popped a little bit of purple highlighter on the inner corner of my eyes. To then start off the neon skull effect, I went in with a white pencil eyeliner and just really poorly carved out the human anatomy of a jaw and teeth. And I wish I added more teeth, but um, yeah, I didn't, girl. To then make it all pink, I obviously went in with that first initial neon shade and then heavily packed on on the kind of the innermost portion of the bone structure that I drew out. And then it filled in the in-between kind of areas with a black eyeshadow, just so it made it look like it was like missing and like the actual kind of skull effect. And then went a little bit more over with a pink, just so there was no like visible skin and then we say a little prayer to the eyeliner gods because this is where it gets detailed i first went in with this nyx liquid eyeliner in white but it was really dried out so i later swapped to my illamasqua white eyeliner but pretty much to sell the neon effect you want to recarve out that shape and hopefully if you didn't go too heavy with that first initial pink shade you can kind of see that rough outline of where you laid the white first so pretty much just re-go over that and it will give that neon effect. I kept going back and forth with like pink over it and a little bit more black and then a little bit more white and then some white eyeshadow since that first initial liquid white eyeliner didn't quite work. But um, yeah, just keep going back and forth and do what you like until it looks like what you want it to look like. Then all I'm going to do is pop on a wig, some rhinestone and some lashes and that is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah